Hello everyone. Let us discuss about concept learning as a search in this session. So under this, we will be discussing about the general to specific ordering of hypothesis. How to order the hypothesis from more general to more specific. So if you see the formal definition of this, let hj and hk be two boolean valued functions defined over x. So these two are the two hypotheses which are defined on the instance capital X. Then hj is more general than or equal to hk. So here you can see the relationship hj is greater than or equals to hk. If and only if for all instances of x, hk of x is equals to 1. That means the target concept is classified as yes or true and similarly hj of x is also 1. So that means whenever the instance is classified positively by hk the same thing is accepted by hj as well. That means hj is also classifying it as positive only. So both are saying the same thing. So whenever we are saying hj is more general than hk that means hk is more specific than hj. Okay. So let us see this with the help of an example. So let us take an hypothesis h1 sunny question mark question mark followed by strong question mark question mark and we have also taken an instance. Let us also take one more hypothesis h2. Okay. So now The attributes of this, the values if you compare sunny and sunny, satisfied, warm. Here we have a question mark. So accepted by the hypothesis, high and question mark. Accepted by the hypothesis, strong and strong, matching, cool. And here we have a question mark. So that means it is accepted. Same. And here we have a question mark. So that means this instance is classified as positive by H1. Okay. Okay. So let us call this as HK. So let us call this H1 as HK. And let's take this H2 as HJ. So now if you see, only the first thing if it is matched, rest all are question marks. That means irrespective of the value of the instance, it is accepted by this particular hypothesis. Now let us check the first instance, the first value that is sunny and here also we have sunny. Both values are matching. All other values are also accepted by this hypothesis. But if you compare both the hypothesis, here in the H1, here I have strong, but in H2, they, here I have a question mark. So from here, I can say that HK is more specific than HJ stated in other terms. HJ is more general than HK because if you take one more instance which is similar to this, suppose if some of the value, suppose here if I get a different value instead of strong, if I get light, okay, rest all I am taking as the same. This will be accepted by H2, but it will not be accepted by H1. Okay. So there is more possibility of H2 accepting any instance. Okay. So, but here the thing is the target concept value should be 1 by HK as well as by HJ. So we are I'm considering only this instance and this is classified as a positive 1. That means the target value of this is yes. So I can say H1 is more specific than H2 or I can say H2 is more general than H1. Let us see one more example and also let us see with the help of a diagram. Okay. So here you can see I have taken two instances X1 and X2. And I have taken three instances, 
H1, H2 and H3. So now let us talk about H1. Okay. So in H1, the first thing that I have is sunny. And in X1 also I have sunny. Both are matching. Next question mark. Here I have warm. So I accepted. Question mark. Here I have high. So I accepted. Next here I have in the hypothesis I have strong. And here in the example also I have strong. Next Next to our question mark. So that means these are accepted. So that means hypothesis H1 or the example X1 is accepted by H1. Next, coming to X2. Sunny. Here it is a question mark and question mark. Here I have light, but in the hypothesis H1 I have strong. So that means X2 is not accepted by H1. Next, coming to H2, sunny followed by all question marks. So that means in both the example, if the first attribute value is sunny, then it is accepted by hypothesis H2. Okay. Because the others are question mark, irrespective of the value of the attribute, it is accepted. So both X1 as well as X2 are accepted by the hypothesis H2. Next, coming to the third hypothesis. Which instance will it accept or will it satisfy? First one is sunny. In both the examples, I have sunny. Next three are question marks. So irrespective of the values of these three, it is accepted up to here. Then I have a attribute value of cool in the hypothesis. So it is there only in example one, X1, but not there in X2. So only X1 is accepted by this. Okay. So now if you observe, which is more general? Only H2 is more general. So now here if you see, um, this is a kind of Van diagram representation where on the left hand side, we have all the set of instances. Okay. So randomly I'm taking few dots and uh, marking them as X1, X2. Okay, only two hypotheses we are considering, X1 and X2. So now, what is, our, what, what is specified by our hypothesis? Our hypothesis H1 is accepting X1. So this H1 I'm mapping to X1. Then H2 is accepting both X1 as well as X2. Okay. So both X1 and X2 are there in this outer circle. So I'm mapping this H2 to this outer circle. So that means both X1 and X2 are satisfied. Then what H3 is satisfying? H3 is satisfying only X1. So this arrow should be mapped here only. Not here. Okay. So both H1 as well as H3 are mapping to X1. H2 is mapping to both X1 as well as X2. So now here, if you see the representation of this hypothesis space, okay? So this is the hypothesis space where we have some set of hypothesis H1, H2, so on, H3, okay? So now in the representation, if you see on the top, we have more specific ones, specific ones. And at the bottom, I have the more general one. So this arrow mapping is from more general to more specific. So that means H1 and H3, whatever instances are satisfied by H1 and H3 are also satisfied by H2. But the opposite is not true. So only we are mapping from H2 to H1. So only this arrow direction is from bottom to top. So this is all about the general to specific ordering of hypothesis. One more thing, if you remember, so the greater than or equals to G. So this is a partial or this relation is a partial or so you know the meaning of partial order, right? So it is transitive, it is reflexive, and it is anti-symmetric. It satisfies the reflexive property 
and to satisfy the anti symmetric property and it also satisfies the transitive property. So based on this, we have the next algorithms that is the finest and the candidate elimination algorithm. So where this general to specific ordering of hypothesis or the partial ordering of hypothesis is used there. So that's all about the general to specific ordering of hypothesis. If you have any queries, please do post in the chat box or the comment section. Thank you.